Hi, my name is Randy Stoughton. I am the head coach at the world famous Kegel Training Center here in Lake Wales, Florida. And I'm here to introduce to you the Kegel Skill Drill Swing and Slide Drill. And the basis of that drill is to get yourself about a step and a half from the foul line, get your body in a position that has your right foot staggered forward with your right arm hanging at your side, your left arm in the center of your body with your thumb pointing to the floor, about kneecap high, maybe just a little bit above waist high, and then you'll take the ball, move it up to the thumb, let gravity take over and let it fall, and then wait for the top of the swing, step into it, and post your position as you see right there. Setting yourself back from the foul line about a step and a half, you're gonna take your push off foot, let it lead, get your slide foot slightly behind, Get your legs bent and get your shift, your body weight shifted to your right side with the ball hanging freely from your shoulder. Get your left balance arm with the thumb pointed to the floor in the center of your body and about waist high. From there, you're going to take the ball, move it up to the thumb, give it to gravity, step into it, and post your shot until the ball hits the pins. Maybe. We're going to use Krista Sergievis as our model for the swing and slide drill and Christus is our WIU uh, national championship member of our of two teams and uh, uh, very skilled at doing these drills. So Christus, if you will, let's go to the foul line. And he's going to take a step and then a half, looking forward as you can see. Then he's going to turn. And then he's going to get himself with his pivot foot in the front slide foot in the arch. He's going to bend his knees. He's going to get his balance arm out in front of him, thumb pointed to the floor and in the center of his body. His weight is now shifted to his right leg or the pivot step leg with his arm hanging straight down, gravity bound. And then he's going to take the swing arm and take it to the balanced thumb and then let it fall and step into it. Finish it off with a nice posted position. Now we're going to use a bowling ball to demonstrate it and so you can see it go down the lane. Again, pivot foot leads, slide foot in the arch, body weight shifted to the right leg, balance arm out in front, waist high in the center of his body with his thumb pointed to the floor, his right arm hanging straight down with his hand behind the ball and he's going to swing the ball up to his thumb, let it fall with gravity, step into the shot, post it until the ball goes down and makes contact with the pins. And that's what it looks like from the back. So Chris, this is going to demonstrate for us the setup of the swing and slide drill. And I'm going to highlight the uh, points of interest here. Number one is going to be the left arm, thumb to the floor. And the reason that this is very important is because that flexes this muscle on the left shoulder to the inside. And that's going to be very important in the end result because this shoulder here has to be the lead shoulder. And when he clears it out, he's going to clear it out in a way that keeps that left shoulder in front. And we'll discuss that in just a second. The second highlight is looking at his knees. You can see his pivot foot is in front of his slide foot. His knees have got a nice bend to him and he's got his weight shifted to the right side. The ball's hanging freely from his side with his wrist straight and again, getting himself over the top of the shot, emulating and simulating a, a straight line to the target. His next move, maintaining, or the next highlight is this back angle right here. One of the flaws is people have a tendency to go too much this way or too much this way. And we want to have a nice little 40 to 50 degree angle right here from the shoulders to the hips and maintain that going through the, the, the drill. His next move is going to be taking the ball up to his balanced arm thumb and then letting the ball fall. The concept here is to be patient, wait for the ball to find the top of the backswing so that this pivot foot can do its job and that is push off. He'll go into a slide and that'll be his indication to pull down and clear out. And again, maintaining this nice 40, 45 degree back angle is critical to that and keeping that arm swing underneath his head is also critical to the end result. All right, so here's Chris is going to do the, uh, the drill for us, swing and slide drill. Again, notice all the postures and the positions. Balance arm out in front, thumb pointed down, 
Ball is hanging freely from his side, and he's going to, in that 45 degree angle with the back, very critical. Bring the ball up to the thumb and let it fall. Posting the shot till the ball hits the pins. Again, look at the nice posture, the nice back angle, the knees leading the way. Foot going down the target line. Again, Chris, this is going to do our demonstration here. We're going to get a back view of it. And the key thing from the back view visual is going to be the ball is going to end up coming right back through where the knee of the pivot foot is on the down swing. So this is going to replace where that is, and that's what's going to keep the ball underneath his head and give him maximum leverage at the release point. Beautiful. And again, posting the shot till the ball hits the pins. Doesn't get any better than that. 